Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here and today we're checking out an app called Honeybook. It's a mobile app but it's also a web app that allows you to manage your small business as a collective whole. And what I mean by that is all the sort of inner workings of it, everything from your project management to calendar bookings, all the way to bookkeeping and even invoices and proposals. Sort of like trying to be an all-in-one tool just to manage your small business or freelancing work. Now, there's actually quite a few of these on the market. We're going to be overviewing Honeybook and also talking about things like its pricing and who it's best recommended for near the end of the video, showing you around all of the key features too. Now, just to make you aware, they do have a 50% off the first year. This is an affiliate link and you can check it out in the link in the description, although my review will be balanced and fair and show sort of all aspects of this application and how it compares to other apps in the market. So as you can see, this is Honeybook and I first like how the sort of like design is. It's very simple, it's very clear and what's nice is it sort of looks a little bit like Windows tiles, doesn't it? And as I said, you can do pretty much anything with this application. This might be a little bit longer, but we'll try and break it down using the timestamps, but let's start with projects. Now inside of this application, you can basically have a project running and manage that project all the way through the pipeline. So for example, you can take it from a simple inquiry about a new load of work all the way to completed and getting that proposal signed off. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. In this case, I might just call it Bento Launch. And as you can see, you can move it sort of all the way from a birthday to corporate to design a wedding etc this is really designed for small businesses remember so they're going to be doing a range of activities so i'm going to say it's corporate and i'm going to say the lead source so you can actually put where you actually found where you were discovered from and this is helpful when it comes to the reporting to give you an idea what channels of your marketing are most effective so I could, for example, say a client referred me, which is a pretty typical thing that happens. And I'll go Monday the 14th is the start date. And I could also put the end date. So if I want to, I could say 27th and you can give, give it a time even and a time zone. Now, one thing I wanted to state as well before is the US and Canadian accounts. So if you're based there, you can set up a bank account with this and connect it to the bookkeeping function. However, you cannot do that if you're outside of those countries. I'll touch on that a little bit later. You can still use the functions, which means it's not a fully dud application if you're outside of those countries. But I just wanted to make you aware of that. Let's go ahead and create a new project. And as you can see, you can add participants. So for example, if you wanted to add someone who's in your team, you could also add somebody who in particular uh, you're collaborating on like a client and they'll get invited. I'm going to skip this just for the demonstration purposes. And you can see here that uh, you get a lovely cover photo. You get some nice text that you can modify and you can put sort of a new, new person here, new client, and you can get started on it. Now, what is really nice about this project is you can go in and add all of the details about a project, add some notes. You can make this really a nice landing space for when somebody arrives. And you can also customize default fields so for example when you open a new project every time you open a new project you can see what fields enter as well you can create custom fields if you want to which is uh, something that people might want to do like for example if they say they want a specific uh, bit of information filled out like you know whether it's a wedding you could say you know do i know this couple and have a little sort of box for that and, and write a little bit of information about that couple so this is the details element and down this right hand side you can see the the visibility for yourself is set on, so that's helpful. And you can put them in the specific, specific stage of the process, and you can even link who you've referred to as well down here and start time tracking. So for example, if I'm in this project and I'm like, right, I need to keep an eye on, you know, how much time I'm doing. So this could be like design. You could say, okay, that was a four hour job. And in this case, I'm gonna say it was 30 pound an hour for that client, and I'm gonna press save. So there, what you can do is, is log time. And if you want, you can just continually log time, more time, and then you can create an invoice from that. So you can go ahead and create an invoice from specific time slots, which is perfect for actually being able to manage and coordinate um, all of those time periods that you've logged and keeping track of it in particular. 
You can also create tasks. So for example, you could say review website launch and you could pick a due date for that in being because the project started on the 14th, uh, which is Valentine's Day. I'm going to say uh, they go add a new project and, and it's added as a new task. You can also set up some automations, but you have to have a participant added. And that's mainly because you can connect to applications like Zoom, uh, I believe Google Meet as well, so that when you create meetings, then you can keep track of them and when they're happening. Now, this is the payment side. You can create invoices here really easily. And what's nice is you can use some of the templates or start with a blank invoice. And the templates are fairly easy to set up and we'll show you them in a bit. You can also keep track of files as well. So you can add a variety of files, anything from your own sort of images, attachments to a timeline. So a customer might see the progress that's being made or the client might see the progress being made. A questionnaire, which is perfect for, you know, even for the wedding industry design, for being able to get a brief in advance, even a brochure, because some people uh, like to pick the services they want, even if it's a larger project. And also, for example, you say you're doing a, a show and you've got a range of services on, that they, the, the, the client can actually pick out um, some elements of that. You can also draw a contract and proposal as well as manage your invoices here. It's a very cool in terms of being able to keep track of things. And what is cool is you can be able to keep track of everything in the process through here. Now, what's really nice is you can send emails through here. So you can add your clients and be able to schedule the email and you can use templates. So for example, you want to be able to send certain things like requests for lower pricing, a new inquiry, and what it will do is it will help populate it for you. So you can see here that this is a way to nudge clients in a much more fine-tuned fashion. And you can even add things like email signatures and share vendor recommendations as well. So you can add vendors, which is very cool to your aspects. So you can see here that I've got a, two projects that are active in inquiry stage and I can move that to say, oh, we've managed to get a meeting for this. And what I can do is go back to projects and you can see that this has been moved down the pipeline to the meeting stage, which is perfect. So that's a little bit inside of projects. Calendar is very much the same, although I've connected this to my Google Calendar, which allows me to bring in future or pre-existing events that have been created and I can create a project or a meeting for those ones. And you can see the, the project that I've got down here, so I can go to the project instantaneously. I can also use a scheduling function. Now, this is great if you've got a client and you want to be able to create a consistent link to, very much like how the app Calendly works. You can be able to set that up using sessions and instructions when people get going. And also, you can choose your regular availability buffer times, quite a detailed amount of that. And you can also create a confirmation page too, which can be pretty helpful. So being able to manage your availability is pretty cool, especially if you're interacting with clients and customers on a regular basis. Now, bookkeeping. So this is where the US, let me just show you inside of the company settings. You can see here bank details. So this is only available for US and, you, um, US and Canadian customers. So you're able to use all of the function outside of this However, when it comes to the bookkeeping, the invoicing, the being able to get paid through the invoices and the sort of detailed analysis, that's only going to be limited, sadly, to US and Canadian customers. Because I'm from the UK, I'm unable to sort of show you this, although you can see outstanding payments here when the invoices are set, but you'd have to do that manually if you were where we're from anywhere outside of the US or Canada. I'm going to show you some clips from their YouTube channel. Uh, this is three years ago, so it may have been even um, sort of upgraded, but you can actually have a great sort of setup here in terms of being able to track invoices, get them paid. Now, before we move on to that, I just wanted to make sure. So you can see here that if you're on the uh, monthly plan, I believe you um, can have no limits on the transactions you have. However, if you're on the starter plan, which is $9 per month, we'll cover pricing a little bit later, don't worry then you're limited to 10K in uh, transactions. So that's just a note. I need to double check whether there's not a fee because I believe, there we go. So businesses accepting online payment make two times more than those who don't. As is standard for processing online payments, there's a 3% transaction fee or credit card or 1.5% fee on business bank transfers. So it's pretty common when it comes to most accounts. Obviously, I think you might be paying a little bit less when it comes to using 
external tools like wise and things like that but that's sort of the you obviously paying a bit more for the experience of using something all in you'd also be able to get a profit and loss which is pretty cool so it connects to your bank and is able to sort of can interact with it and you can also connect payments to the quickbooks experience so you can have that connection there i believe quickbooks is their only connection and up here you're able to get reports of sales that are going through and projected income outstanding payments and things like that and you can see that you can get deeper insights um, when you're being able to see the sort of conversion per lead as well and also the yearly reports down here so it is quite advanced when it comes to the stat side of it so that's obviously something to note when it comes to uh, being able to try and succeed with with those bills set up so you can see here that if I go to all of my tasks, you'd see some of my tasks are planned in the future. The task management's fairly easy. You just add a new task, a new day, assign it to a project. And if there's an automation setup, you can create an interaction there. Now, there are some abilities with time tracking. So you can see here that I've done some time tracking, $30 rate for this and that. So you can create an invoice from these as well. And you can select a project that's related to and move forward with that. You can also log new time here, export it as a CSV, all very helpful functions when being able to make sure you capture all of the interactions because you don't want to lose necessarily some uh, cash when you're developing this. So the templates are quite handy. They've got some pre-created ones. You can use contracts to be able to start a contract. You can start one from scratch if you want. For example, if you're working within independent contractors or you want to be able to reschedule amendments and things like that, you can also do it with proposals, questionnaires for clients and also brochures. So brochures can save you a lot of time, but they're also interactive. So here's a template. Let's um, see what it looks like. And here we go. You can really modify what it looks like and also have a bunch of things available so when you send the brochure to people and people click on aspects of this and total it up for you they can get the price for themselves and be able to bill get the billing going as well because when you're in a project it actually prompts you when you're interacting with your client to move forward to the next stage of the process and you can even create packages you can use contract contact forms which are helpful for external website side of stuff and create email signatures here and you can see all of the the templates that you might want to have through here too so all very helpful in saving you a bit of time uh, you and your team a bit of time you can see down here that you can interact with the contact forms you can go to library which is more the files of that you've used workflows are pretty helpful for being able to for example if a customer hasn't interacted they sort of give you a nudge up here in the notifications area and you can interact and make sure that that process is captured because sometimes it's stressful being able to run a business and then not seeing whether somebody's replied to something you can also refer people to here if you end up finding that you've benefited from it and you want to use it and there's a mobile app here on ios and android for on the go interactions now i think that's pretty much all of the aspects that i wanted to show you guys over here you can i want to show you the customer settings what I think is really nice is you can actually build a professional presence. So, for example, you can create the sort of main logo, secondary logo, colors, so that when a client interacts with you, they're invited to a project, they can see everything that they need to know so that the client, even everything all the way to the client portal so that they can customize and really get a feel for your business and how professional you are before you're even landed there. So you can also change the team data and all that through here and also modify your own settings here. Now, overall, this application is probably best for what it says on the tin. Small to medium sized businesses, I'd probably say between a 5 to 25 probably best fits this. It's really simple and I guess what it's beneficial for is for those who, for example, they might want to invite people in their team to be able to keep an eye on projects, calendar tasks. The only thing that I'd say is probably this application is a, a little bit more pricey, but it saves you all the job of setting up, for example, a more advanced Notion or even other applications. There is an alternative called Bonsai, which is I've heard quite good, but it's more for freelancers. I'd say this is more for those who are doing small business. I'd say that are like, you know, for example, weddings, design company even a marketing agent to some extent to manage that end-to-end -end process 
So they have a couple of pricing setups. Um, as I said, there's 50% off in the link in description. That is an affiliate link, just to be clear. If you do like it, you can see the starter plan has a $9 per month fee, access to all the features, as I said, limited to 10K in transactions and up to six months of concierge support. The unlimited monthly is $39 and gives you no limits, unlimited support and add unlimited team members. Okay, so that's interesting. I didn't realize that was the pricing for them. So actually, it actually becomes more affordable than say using a, a more advanced system. The only thing you might have a problem with is the transaction fees being able to done if you're a US or Canadian customer, you get yearly pricing here and that give you pretty much two months worth of savings, I think, and 17% savings, but it's actually two months. So it's really a, what I'd say is it's not as advanced as say using Pipedrive. It's not as advanced as say as using like, I, I used a Pro Prospero, which is a proposal contracts one. It's not as advanced to say using, you know, a fully tuned, you know, CRM system and things like that. However, it does do a, a pretty good job at managing the collective system. You can find more details about it below, but that was my review of HoneyBook. Letitia James, who's on YouTube, has a few videos of how she uses it. So I'll include those in the link in the description. But at the same time, I don't think it's a bad bet if you and your team are looking to, as a small business, bring everything together in one location. And of course, I'll include any links that might be helpful below for other stuff to this. Anyway, folks, a huge thank you. Make sure to keep uh, productive and I'll see you guys very very soon. Cheerio!